Hi. Um, I was evaluated here um, by Dr. Teshido because I was experiencing um, dizziness for, gosh, like two or three times a month, sometimes in clusters. And um, when I was younger, I, I had migraines with the, the visual aura and the whole, the whole shebang. And um, after menopause, I stopped with the headaches and everything. But for the last five years, I've been experiencing this dizziness um, maybe two or three times a month, sometimes in clusters. And I really just had no idea. People were saying, it's your ears, it's this, it's that. So I came here and was evaluated and found there was a connection between the migraines that I was having uh, and the dizziness. And I went on a special diet, um, became much more aware of the things that I ate including cheese, which I love, but I've been cutting down dramatically on that. And so the last three months, I only had one dizzy spell and um, I feel much, much better. So just removing cheese and without taking any medication, you have been able to uh, reduce these episodes of dizziness. Yes, just, just being more conscious of cheese. Now I still eat a little cheese, I sneak some, but I eat less than, I mean, consciously it's at least two thirds less than I was eating before. And um, it is sort of amazing that it has really improved uh, the dizziness. I feel much better. Um, and I'm very appreciative that I never, it never occurred to me these could be connected. Um, but it, it really makes sense now when I have that sense um, and I still occasionally get the visual aura with the eyes without a headache. Right. But that's decreased dramatically also with my cheese consciousness. And I'm also a little more careful with caffeine. I, I had given up caffeine, but um, I found that um, I would eat a little chocolate and I would eat other things that had a little caffeine in it. So I've been just more conscious. Um, of this special diet and, and the foods that yeah. I consume. You can probably tolerate having any of those things, some, but not too much. Yes, I think that's really the uh, best way to say it. I really thank you for sharing your experience with us. I'm sure it's going to help a lot of other people who have a very similar symptoms. Well, I hope so. <laughs> thank you.